facing the Rangers. Gil Mesh looking for his 11th win, and he's not an all-star. Bottom two, Doug Glenville dropping that like it's hot. Glenville, just a 198 hitter, drives in Juan Gonzalez and Kevin Minch, two zip Rangers. Rafael Palmero, 19 homers this year. Now, right now, Rafael, 12 straight 20 home run seasons. Nine other guys have done it. Aaron Ruth, Mays, Schmidt, Eddie Matthews, Barry Bonds, Reggie Jackson, Pops, Willie Stargell, Billy Williams, all in the Hall of Fame except for Barry, who will be... Mira! Mira! Rafael Palmero, 510 for his career, 20th one this year, 13 straight seasons of 20 or more home runs, joining a real nice fraternity. Top four, Mariners down four zip, Edgar Martinez. All right, play, I get your point. 18th of the year for Edgar, 4-1 Rangers. Next batter, John Olerud. John going the other way. But Hank Blaylock, nice grab. Check it again, Blaylock an all-star. Kids got a 328 bat and a nice club. Rangers win 5-1. Angels trying to sweep up in Oakland. Last swept three from the A's. The Coliseum in 96. Benji Molina will be involved here. Bottom four, Jared Washburn facing Eric Burns. Aaron Erstead makes the catch, and now we're going to throw home to get Jermaine Die. And, well, we don't have a collision. Die runs over Molina. He's called out. Take another look. Cut me, Vic. Cut me. Die doesn't even come close. Hamburger drill, parts go flying all over. Lena would be okay. Die would leave the game with a sprained shoulder. Miguel Tejada in the seventh. Well, no. Nice play by Troy Gloss. Tejada not happy about it. He's down 4 1. He's 1 for 36 in his lifetime now against Washburn, and he just goes back and says, Take it all. It's doing me no good. Take the bats, take the glove, take everything. Batting gloves. He did My regular glove, I'm going to keep. Look at him, Rob Gloss there. He didn't throw his cup, did he? I hope not. Let's. Hopefully. Kids, keep those on. Keith Folk, three blown saves this season have come in Tim Hudson starts. Top nine, Folk facing Scott Spezio with a man on. Angels trail 5-3. We're not at 5 Two run homer by the Sand Frog, his eight. Bottom nine. Francisco Rodriguez facing Rubio Durazo. And Durazo with a fly ball to right. Jeff Devannon making the catch. Eric Burns trying to score. And Molina is there, but this time... Molina didn't get his block knocked off, just his glove. Run scores, A's win, 6-5. Red Sox have outscored the Yankees 20-5 in the first two games. The Yankees have lost two straight to Boston. Andy Pettit, a Boston sinker. 73.3 winning percentage against Boston. Yankees have lost three straight overall. Pettit also a slide stopper. 3-0 when starting after three straight Yankees losses. But first inning, Bill Miller treats him like a dog. Miller's eighth of the year. He's hitting 331 zip Red Sox. But Pettit would settle down. Yanks up 2 1 in the fourth. Pettit treating the kids like dogs. Stay, sit, telling them chicken and cheese. But Polio and Quesa, as they say in Texas and down in Mexico. You know, Andy Pettit had four straight Ks. He had seven for the game. Struck out the side in the fifth inning, doing work. Sixth inning, Yanks up 6-1. Curtis Pry, as cool as the other side of the pillow. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. First home run since 2001. Yankees go up 4-1. Top seven, Yanks up 4-1, 2-1 for Alfonso Soriano. This kid is straight rolling. Gets his fourth triple of the year. Alfonso is a man. Yankees go up 6-1. Goes three for five in the game. Ups his average to 300. But Andy Pettit, Joe Torre, what can you say about your pitcher, dog? It may have appeared better than it was, only because, you know, we needed it right there. But he, he was terrific. I mean, he threw a, threw a fastball for a strike in the first inning, and it, and it was a home run. But after that, he was very stingy, and he knows how to pitch big games. And uh, I don't know if he's, he's pitched any bigger regular season games than this one, just because of the way we got beat up the first two days. Pettit goes to 10 and 6 in the year. Yankees win it 7 to 1. We're on the AL, so let's talk about some AL flavor. Your American League All Star starters. First baseman Carlos Delgado, 92 RBI. We're not even at the break yet. First time picked as a starter. You just saw Soriano crank his fourth triple of the year. He's got 22 homers, 25 stolen bases. He's starting his second, second pick as a starter and an All Star. Third baseman Troy Gloss, his third selection, first as a starter. 46 RBI this year. Shortstop, A-Rod. Who else? Sixth as a starter. 54 RBI. 21 home runs for Mr. Rodriguez. Catcher, Jorge Posada. 
Second time he's been voted as a starter. 17 homers, 50 RBI for the Yankees. In the outfield, Manny Ramirez. 20 homers, 66 RBI, fifth all-star starter selection. And also, Hideki Matsu, are you kidding me? The rookie, first selection, first as a starter, 64 RBI this year. And also, Ichiro, third selection, third as a starter, gets it in 349. And also the DH, Edgar Martinez, 18 home runs, 60 RBI. Let's go to the hill, baby. The mound, 60 feet, 6 inches away. This is what the NL will see. Jamie Moore becomes the third player in history to make his all-star debut after the age of 40. One of the other two, Satchel Page. Nine of the 12 pitchers selected are making their first appearance in the All-Star game. The other three are all making their second appearance, so a lot of new blood. Expos have one top three scoreless runner on first, Mike Hampton, who pick off Henry Mateo at second, but Hampton is called for a balk, which brings Bobby Cox out to argue, which, you know, Bobby's like a prosecuting DA. He argues all the time. Watch it again. Hampton's foot supposed to go to first. You be the judge. Home plate umpire Phil Cuzzy calls balk. Cox goes back to the dugout. What, isn't he supposed to get, like, tossed? He's Bobby Cox. Same at bat. Jeremy Carroll, hot shot to short for call can't handle. Mateo scores. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Here comes Bobby Cox. Go on. There you go. For the seventh time this year, Bobby gets run. Bottom three, spose up three zip. Oh, boy. Mm. Chipper Jones. I'm sorry, Larry Chipper <laughs> Jones. 14th home run of the year, Braves down one. Bottom five, 4-3 Expos, bases loaded. Javi Lopez hitting wail, hitting 307 this year. That's his 51st RBI of the year. It scored two, bottom eight. What's up, Trick? Chipper again, second home run of the game. 15th of the year, 27th career multi-home run game. Braves win 7-5. Diamondbacks Dodgers, the scene here on ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. Andrew Good on the mound for the D-backs, and you know, it's all good. Four Dodgers trail 2-0, went out. Sean Green on first, Paul LaDuca doubles down the right field line, but Green held up at third. Not gonna score, nobody out, that's all right. Second and third, we can get them home. Darrell Ward, that's all I'm saying, get in the air, somebody can trot home, uh-oh, that's one out. After Ron Coomer walked to load the bases, David Ross gets into a 6-4-3 double play. Good gets out of the inning. Bob Brenly, that's more than good. That's exciting. Bottom six, two outs. Turns in the corner, and Ross fans. Good. Six inning pitch, four hits, six Ks, two walks. Bottom nine. D-backs up 2-1. Matt Manti on to close for Arizona. And Ross, two outs. Missed. Next batter, Chan Hernson. He's the third out. D-backs win a 2-1. Manti with the save. Dodgers with only four hits in the game. Giants and Padres, bottom three, Pods down one zip, runner at first, 0-2 oh, count. Pitcher Brian Lawrence squares to bunt, and he, well, he, he struck out. Then he got mad at his bat. Was it his fault, or was it the Woods' fault? Yeah, that bat was bad. Bad bat. Bad bat. That bat had to go to detention. Top six, Rich Aurelia. What none on. <laughs> Old brother pulling it. Aurelia's eighth home run of the year that ties it at two. Top eight, same score, none on Barry Bonds facing Jesse Orozco. Bonds had 73 homers in one season. He's hit 73 in his career against the Padres. Most versus any one opponent. So on the 3-2 pitch to Barry Bonds, he loves the Padres, and he drives the Orozco pitch deep to right center. I'm building the drama, John. It's working. I'm on the edge of my seat. And it's a long fly out to Gary Matthews Jr. Thanks. I'm glad I whetted your appetite, though. Top nine, 2-2 two -two tie runners at first. J.T. Snow getting his yoke on up the middle. Scores Tori Abba, J.T.'s 34th RBI of the year. Gents win 3-2. Here's a look at the NL's first string for the All-Star Game. First base, Todd Helton of the Rockies. 69 rips, four selection, third as a starter. As mentioned, at second, Marcus Giles of the Braves, his first selection. He's hitting 282. Eight homers. Nice work from middle infield. Third base, card Scott Rowland. Like in St. Louis, second selection, second as a starter. They'll go to the box a lot and pull the lever there in St. Louis. Edgar Renteria, he's going. Redbird shortstop, third selection. First is a starter. Nice offense, nice glove. Javi Lopez, besides those 51 RBIs, 307, 23rd homer. He's gone to the All-Star game three times. This is the first time that he's behind the plate to start. 
in the outfield, Albert Pujols, 374, 26 homers, 80 RBI, just sick numbers. Leading outfield, vote getter, second selection, first to start, he's going to win the Triple Crown, maybe. Barry Bonds, well, yeah, you can't have an all-star game without him, I don't think anymore. His 12th selection, 10 as a starter. And then, in conclusion, Gary Sheffield, 327, 22 homers, 68 RBI, and just a fierce, fierce bat. Seventh selection, second as a starter. Now the list of NL hurlers, Kevin Brown, Sean Chacon, Mark Pryor, Woody Williams, Jason Schmidt were picked as starting pitchers, among some others there. John Smoltz, Eric Gagne, Billy Wagner as relievers. So if they get a lead, it could be over those closers. Chacon on the DL, he's replaced by Kerry Wood. In the first inning, Pujols starting against Mark Pryor, also an all-star, and goes down looking. Pryor struck out 10 in seven innings. Top second, Eduardo Perez. Ouch, hello offense. Three run blasts off Pryor, his fifth of the year. Cards up 3-0. That's so far, they can't even throw it back. Top five, Edmonds facing Pryor, one on two outs. Singles to center. Corey Patterson coming up throwing. Woody Williams, the pitcher, charging hard. He is in there safe at the plate. Look at it again, though. He helped himself. Gets in there, gets his hand in on Damian Miller's face and breaks up the play. Ah, guards up 4-0. Edmund, 64th RBI. Bottom eight. Patterson facing Steve Klein. Tino Martinez gloves it and then lays out. Nice dive. Patterson, though, called safe. Injured on the play. We look again. Here's Martinez. Got Patterson before he got to the bag. Maybe should have been an out. Doesn't matter. He's safe, but Patterson's going to leave under his own power, but he will now be dealing with a sprained left knee. And then the rains came before the next batter. 52-minute rain delay. Hey, if you can rain on Tiger, you can rain on everybody else. Runners at the corners, two out, 4-1. Here in the eighth, Jason Isringhouse and Kays, Jose Hernandez to end the threat in the eighth. Cards going to win at 4-1. Take two of three from the Cubs in Wrigley. Blonde bombshell Pamela Lou Pinella now managing Tampa Bay team one third straight and so there he goes he's gonna be a blonde goodness now what would happen say if his team wins four straight perhaps Lou gets a tattoo or body piercing or would shave his head entirely or maybe wear women's clothing or ultimate embarrassment sign a five-year extension top second Joe Creedy two run homer to center eighth of the season three nothing White Sox Lou's feeling pretty good right now bottom second he didn't have blonde roots, though. No, he, no, he did not. Mark Burley, looking for his fifth consecutive win after nine straight losses. Gets Travis Lee, went seven innings, seven innings, three earned run. Then got some more offense from Jose Valentin. A three-run homer is 13th of the year. Sox go up 8-0, win 11-3. Lou's winning days are over, but that hair is going to stay a while. Orioles looking for their first four-game sweep of the Blue Jays since 1979. Top nine, Lord have mercy. Eric Hensky done made his kin folks so proud. Pookie and them, Ray Ray, Nook, Nook and them, Lucretia, baby daddy. The ball off of Luis Mentos' glove. Hensky had four home runs all year coming in. He hits two in this one game. Top 10, 3-3. Three, three. Vernon Wells, broken back ground to the short. Davey Cruz fires. Wells called safe. Mike Hargrove argued halitosis. He got tossed. Watch again. It was a bad call. I mean, he was clearly out. Sunlight between his foot and the bag. Should have been the third out. Two batters later, Chris Woodward. Base knock right up the gap. Wells comes in to score from second. Blue Jays win 5-3. American League. Those elected to go? Garrett Anderson, Hank Blaylock, Brett Boone, Nomar garcia Parra, Ramon Hernandez, Melvin Moore, Mike Sweeney, Vernon Wells. Now, Jason Giambi, Jason Veritek, weren't selected by among five players who can get the final AL spot in internet voting. They're joined on the ballot by Eric Burns, Benji Moline, and Frank Thomas. Over the National League, the reserves, the new player voting reserves. Jim Edmonds, Rafael Percal, Andrew Jones, Paul Aduka, Mike Lowell, Richie Sexton, Jose Vidro, and Preston Wilson competing for the final NL spots. Orlando Cabrera, Luis Castillo, Jeff Jenkins, Corey Patterson, and Benito Santiago. Voting runs until 6 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. With more on the snubs and flubs, we have a... Randy Wolf on the mound looking for his 10th win of the season. Top one, Marlins up one zip. Wolf hung a pitch that Juan Encarnacion yoked. 12th homer of the year, Marlins up three zip. Marlins trying to complete their first ever sweep in Philly, but bottom one, I ain't gonna say nothing, but that ain't right. Jim Tomey sends out his 22nd home run of the season. 62 RBI, fills down 3-2. Bottom six, two on one out, fills down 6-3. Pat Burrell chases the pitch outside of the sports center strike zone, pops out to Luis Castillo. Burrell 0 for 4, average falls to 196 brother putting the S in struggling. Next batter, David Bell. 
Flies out to center. Phil's unable to get a run home. Marlins do complete the sweep in Philly. McKeon gets his 800th career win. Mets and Reds, New York a chance to sweep the home team. Top four Mets down 4-2. Jason Phillips is Paul Wilson, and Paul Wilson will curveball. Put a K in this one. That was Except taking a look there. There was something that flew through there, a bat or something. Like a bat. It's a blackbird. Blackbird crossing your path. Perhaps the same as a black cat. Not really that superstitious. I don't know, but back in 69, Mets Cubs game, Black Cat ran out of the field. After that, the Mets, who were nine half games, went on to win the division in the World Series. So maybe that's good news. Look at here. Hey. It's working already. Here comes Ty Wigginton. Blasting a double in the gap. Two runners score. And just like that, we're tied at five. Randy Johnson would have killed that bird with his right. fastball. It, it done would have exploded up. <laughs> Top nine score tied by five. Tony Clark. He's got a little of the black magic. Home run there. Clark's 10th. He was two for four. Mets up 6 5. Bottom nine, 7 5. Bring on Armando Benitez. He's an all-star, you know. So is Aaron Boone. But in this case, Benitez wins it. Mets now only 16 games back. Oh, the happy, happy recap. Mets win himself. Astros and Pirates, bottom three. Brian Giles batting. Pirates up two zip. Brian Giles batting. I said Brian Giles batting. Peace. Solo shot, Giles, 10th of the year. He was two for five, hitting 311. Pirates up, three zip. Top six, one on, one out. Jeff D'Amico pitching. Jeff Blum to second. Abraham Nunez collects, tags, makes the throw, double play. And by the way, D'Amico, the pitcher, first career, two hit game. Bottom six, Aramis Ramirez. Now, despite two errors, his 19th and 20th errors of the year, Ramirez hits his eighth homer of the year. Yeah. Top eight, Bijou to third, Ramirez. Hey, what two errors? Nice grab, check it again. He almost did a split and almost put a groin. Pirates, two straight Sunday complete games. Ben Sheets, game tied at one, runner on second. He's going to walk Todd Helton intentionally to Preston Wilson, who's second in the NL with 76 RBIs. Well, it worked out. He struck him out, except the ball got away, so the runners advance. Greg Norton, though, weak grounder, and the cheese no longer binding. Richie Sexton Fields flips to Sheets and Davini. She's trying to get that first win since June 5th. Bottom seven, Jeff Jenkins has intentionally walked to get to Richie Sexton. Why? Because Jose Jimenez holding righties to a 203 average. He didn't hold him to nothing there. Sexton was offended. Knocks in two for Sednick and Jenkins. Brewers win it three to one. Tigers. A year ago, they were the same team. Jose Lima facing his former team, the Tigers. It's a lot of fun back then. He wasn't much of a pitcher. 17 and 32 in his five seasons with Detroit, but you know, he was always fun to watch. No matter what happened in the game, whatever happened, the super fans or the result, there's always given time. It's always Lima time. Actually, enough people back then in Detroit where you almost had trouble hearing them. Strong in the mound here, Ramon Santiago goes down looking. Dimitri Young miss. Lima pump. Two hits, two earned runs, seven innings, five Ks, five walks. Rolls up five three with the bases. Chuck Curtis Lasconic on to get one guy, and he got him. Matt Walbeck. Lima cheers him on out of the jam. Top nine, same score. Mike McDougal. Warren Morris. I'll take that myself. Flip it over to first. Thank you. McDougal's 24 save. Tied for most of the AL. Royals win it 5-3. Lima now 4-0 with KC. Indians and Twins, top one, no score. Brad Radke facing Milton Bradley. And Milton Bradley, I always want to just, I think about Risk and Stratego whenever I say his name. I like number 80 to blow guys up. I like Madagascar and Risk. That was my favorite country to have. Uh-oh. The ball bounces over Torrey Hunter's head. Bradley keeps going. He's thinking about Risk. He's thinking about Stratego. He's thinking inside the park home run. He should have thought about staying in third. <laughs> I mean, he was tagged out. He didn't even touch the plate. He just ran on to the dugout. <laughs> Top seven, Casey Blake. Remember, Blake was ridiculous on Saturday. Saturday, he went five for five, two R seven RBI, two homers. Here, doubles to right center. He went one for four on Sunday. The Indians, three and 39 this year when trailing after the seventh. Basically, they're whack when they're down, but we tell you that because Latroy Hawkins facing Matt Lawton. Lawton says, have a little bit of this. Deep to right, solo shot. Lawton's 14th. Kid's been large. 325, seven homers, 15 RBI, his last 18 games. Top 10, still tied. Eddie Guardado facing Shane Spencer with the man on. Now the man ain't on no more. And neither is Shane. His fifth of the year. Indians win 5